Hello everyone and welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday. Today we are going to do this cute little mushroom. Um, we only need three stamps, um, only two stamp packs actually. Um, and then we are using quite a few markers, but that's really all we need. Um, simple, small, quick little painting. So the stamps we need for this one is from the, the uh, Elves set. We're going to use the Big Mushroom. And then in the foliage set four, we're going to use the two like wispy grasses. And that's all we need. Our painting is on a uh, three by three piece of paper. And then for our colors, we have quite a few colors for this one. So we'll use number 45 sepia, uh, number 17 steel blue number six brown number 43 brilliant i'm sorry <laughs> brilliant yellow number 89 persimmon uh 86 african violet number 28 english red and then number 15 olive green so again we have quite a few markers but only three stamps so let's get started we're going to start with our big mushroom and we're going to ink it in two parts. Start with the African violet and ink the entire mushroom. Okay. And then we will take our number 45 sepia and ink directly on top. This is what gives us that darker, almost black, um, kind of a gray hue when we ink these two together. Okay, and then we're going straight into the center for this one. No need to be um, top or bottom or left or right, whatever. So there is our mushroom. Get some water on our brush. We're now going to pull the color out of the lines. I'm going to pull it on the inside, kind of down towards the bottom, where it would be a little darker from shadows. You can add a little bit of shadow to the top if you'd like. And then down here, just kind of touch the lines. You don't want to completely paint it in, but we do know since it's the underneath section that it would be, you know, pretty dark because it's under the mushroom. Come down our sides here. Okay, okay, so now with um, a pencil, I'm going to lightly draw in the circles of the mushrooms. Um, you can draw them anywhere that you want. I'm going to do one up here, and a bigger one over here. Add as many or as little as you like. Whatever you want to do with these. Okay, I'm just going to do those four. So now I'm going to take um, the persimmon, put some on my palette, and we're going to paint in the mushroom. With this red, you're going to have to paint it quite a few times to make it look red and not just pink. So we will start with one coat on the mushroom cap before we move on to anything else with the mushroom. And that way it will dry and we can add our multiple layers to make it look darker. 
mushrooms in the wild are pretty dark. Kind of brighter, but they're very saturated red. I actually had no idea that these mushrooms even were real. I thought just people made them up. I don't know why until we moved to here to Germany and I saw them in the wild and like sitting on the side of the road when I was taking the girls to school one day and can you say like how excited I was that I wanted to pull over on the off ramp <laughs> and take a picture because <laughs> I really had no idea that these were legit mushrooms in the world. I guess I don't study mushrooms enough. I hope I'm not the only one that didn't realize that these red capped with white dot mushrooms were real. But, anyways. Okay, so there's one coat. I kind of went back and went a, a quick second coat over it because it dried really fast. So now we're going to move on to our, the base of our um, mushroom. And I'm going to take the number six brown and put that on my palette. And this is going to be kind of the majority of the base. So dip your brush, pinch it off, get some, and then we're going to kind of just come in, paint along the bottom here, leave some white. Um, you don't have to paint the whole thing. You can paint more we'll darker in some areas. Bring some up here. <clears throat> and then we're just going to kind of touch it under here. But again, I don't want to paint in like the whole underside of the mushroom. You know, where it's small and towards the base of the mushroom will be pretty dark. Um, and then we'll just kind of feather it out. Okay, so I'm going to go back over this now. And to make it a little darker. Play around with your colors. They don't have to be a red mushroom. They can all be like an all creamy brown, like a normal mushroom go totally off the cuff, make like a fairy scene and make just all sorts of a grouping of, of colorful like pinks and purples and blues, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do, make it your own. So now I'm going to do um, the Brilliant Yellow number 43, put that on my palette and then I'm just going to add like a little bit of yellow in, in, in some places just to kind of brighten it up and add a little um, more dimension. So just kind of touch it here and there, wherever you, you know, feel like would be a good spot to add some. See, like we're already almost, I mean, we are halfway through this painting and it's been uh, just a few minutes. So, you know, if you don't have a lot of time to craft, these little paintings are the perfect choice. Okay, so we're going to hop back up to the red. And let's see, I'm going to take my English red number 28 and I am going to um, use this to make certain areas darker instead of keep going over with that other red. You can keep going over with the other red. If you don't have the English red, you can mix a little of the brown. Um, I would do sepia, mix a little bit of the sepia in with it, and then you could <clears throat> get like a darker red in spots if you don't have the, the English red. Okay, I'm gonna come back with a little more of the crimson, oh, I'm sorry, persimmon. The one in here. Um, I am going to take a little bit of sepia 
and you just go straight sepia to add some more of the darkness. Okay. And even if you want, you could even add a little red into your base down here. The brown has quite a bit of red in it already, but you know, do what you want. Okay, I'm going to come back to the top in a few minutes and we're going to come to our grasses down here. So I have both of these uh, little wispy field grasses, so they go both directions. Uh, we'll start with the one that goes towards the left. Um, and so just ink it with your olive green. And just like our uh, other grasses, our little grasses, you'll ink it a couple times before, or I'm sorry, you'll stamp it a couple times before you re-ink it. Um, so add as much or as little as you want of this. Go up and over the mushroom. Um, I'm going to switch to my other one here. Now if you want a little bit, some shorter grasses only do um, half the stamp. You don't have to use the entire stamp every time you use these. So there, like on that one, I only used about like half of it just to kind of give it a little bit more in front of the mushroom. I'm going to add a little something over here. Okay, so now we're going to add some water to this. So dip your brush in water, pinch it off, and always pull up and out from the grasses. And that way it, you know, keeps it more realistic. Keeps the shape of the little stamps. Okay, so I'm going to add some olive green to my palette. I'm just going to paint in a freehand a little bit more kind of grass in here. Um, a little bit down here. Not adding a whole bunch. And then I'm actually going to take the sepia and just kind of go over the top of the green and kind of blend it out just to kind of make it more mossy, um, dirt like since mushrooms aren't, you know, always just living in the grass. And then it also just will help give a little shadow underneath. So there we go. Okay. So last time we're going to come back up to our red here. I'm going to take that English red, come again over the area that I want a little darker. And then take my persimmon. You know, if you don't want it quite so solid, just take your brush with some water on it. You can, you know, kind of take away a little bit. It's like, oh, I, you know, there, there'd be more of a reflection up here on top of the mushroom. So let me kind of pull off some of that. Okay. Um, one last little quick pass with sepia. And that would be it for that. So lastly, um, is our steel blue. Put it on your palette. And then we will... You know, paint in our sky. You could leave it as is if you'd like. You could, you know, just don't do the sky. That's up to you. For this one, I'm not actually going to go like full on sky. I'm just going to um, kind of just brush here and there and surround it, but not, you know, give more of an illusion of a sky than like most of my paintings where I'm like, oh, the entire background is sky. All right. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to take the thin side of my marker and I'm going to sign and date. And there you have it. Our quick little mushroom 
Um, this is a three by three painting, so easy to pop in a small little frame and put on a shelf on your desk or give it away to a friend, make it into a card, whatever you want to do. Um, stay tuned next week. Um, I have a couple exciting paintings coming up. So yeah, um, stay tuned. Have an awesome Wednesday. See you later.